And today on Have a Knife Day, we're here at the historic city of Natchez, Mississippi, home of the iconic Sambar fight with Jim Bowie. We have some great displays here with members of the Antique Bowie Knife Association. And we're going to start over here, taking a look at these. And then we're going to stop over here, and we're going to talk about his favorite knife on this display. So who are you, and what can you tell us about your favorite knife? Uh, my name is Kelly Ritter. Uh, my favorite knife is going to be this Charles Congreve right here. Uh, now Congreve is a famous name in itself, if I'm right? not mistaken. Yeah, uh, right around 1840. Uh, just, I love the it's, I love the shape of the knife. This one here in particular has uh, a little bit of history to it, being in part of the Mexican War, the Battle of Monterey. It was captured by the Mexicans, then recaptured by, uh, uh, well, the name, is, it's actually etched on the sheath really faint. Uh, so it was captured, then recaptured, and it was part of my dad's collection that he got about the time, I was, sometime I was in high school. I'm 52 now, and it's just one of my dad's favorite knives, and it's just, I remember him getting the knife and him being excited about it, and I just, it's just, a knife that I've always has stood out in his collection and now it's in mine and probably my favorite knife that I own. And also, now some of these hat knives have a very particular handle style. Uh, what is the handle style called? Excuse me? Well, this kind of reminds me of like the cutlery. That's what they call them is okay. a cutlery handle. Cutlery handle. They were just, they came in variations, you know, there's one here. This is the one got the handle and the guard or one piece. This is another variation of a cutlery handle. They were just sort of a sort of a thin. And you also handle. have some uh, examples. I do believe that's buoy number one. That's a, that's a replica. That's a replica that's of a replica. buoy number yeah, one. I just brought it just for show and tell, just so something you can get your hands on and yeah, get yeah. a feeling for it. Yeah, everything in the cases is is 100% real. The other two we have uh, more very, very fine representations of the knives of the time. Uh, what is the predominant uh, time frame of these knives right here? The, in, anywhere from probably the late 1830s up to the Civil War. There's really nothing here that I have that was made after the Civil War. And the folding knives of the time, these are amazing. And, and very, very intricate. Um, the people who wore these were, must have been just so proud to have them in their pocket. Yeah, it was just just a, more of a compact way to carry a knife. This is about, this is probably about a third of my folder collection, but it's the best of my folder collection. Now, you do sell knives, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I buy and sell. Just buy and sell. So how could people get a hold of you if they wanted to possibly view what you have for sale and uh, add to their collection? Uh, they can probably contact me maybe through the Facebook page, the, uh, the Antique Knife Group of Sheffield and American Knives. My name's Kelly Ritter. Uh, you can call it, uh, get a hold of me through Messenger or just DM me. And just think, um, if you see anything you like here today, please do reach out and you too could own a little bit of history and put it on your hip or wear it in your pocket. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful bit of history with us. And as always, have a nice day. Thanks.